this is an infamous note because um, speculation has it that one guy here in the crowd is actually uh, a black person. Just like Gampa on YouTube, figure you bring some new food. Hello people and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time on the channel, a special welcome to you. I ask that you check out the rest of my videos. If you like what you see, give them a thumbs up, leave a comment, but more than anything, I'm asking that you subscribe to the channel. Today I'm doing a different kind of video. Today I'm sharing my currency collection with you guys. And while I'm at it, I'm asking you guys to help me name some of these currency because I've been collecting currency on and off for the last 20, 20 plus years, I would say. And um, recently, while doing a video, I dis while doing a video on my other channel, which I shared with my wife, I displayed some of my currency and decided why not do a display of my currency collection on this channel. So, without any further ado, here it is. This is my currency collection thus far. I have 130 individual notes here. Some of these notes are repeated notes, and most of these notes have got from places I've traveled to, and some of them I've got from individuals who have traveled to countries knowing that I collect notes and they just give it to me as a gift. I'm going to try my very best to go through them individually to see where they're from and share it with you guys. I'm not 100% sure of where all of them are from. Um, obviously when I got them at the time I was told but I did not memorize it and I did not write a log on it. I have them in no particular order um, which is a shame but while I'm showing them to you guys. I will definitely put them in particular order. So let's start with um, um, this one right here. This is a Jamaican $1,000 bill and this is currently still an active currency in Jamaica and this here let me put so what, I, what I'll try to do is try to create an organization of them while I'm doing it. So Jamaica $1,000 this was a Jamaican $10 note. This is no longer an active currency because currently Jamaica uses coin. Jamaica's converted their $10 to a coin. And this here is 100 Jamaican dollars. I'm not sure if it's still active, but I think so. So I've got two of those, I believe. Yeah. So I've got two Jamaican 100. I've got uh, Jamaica 50, um, $50 note. This right here is still active, I believe, I think. If I'm not correct, please correct me in the commentary section. And over here, I have a Jamaica $20 bill. This is definitely not an active in Jamaica anymore. So I'm happy to have the ones that are out of action. $20. And this is a $2 um, note of Jamaica. I've got more than one of these, I'm sure. The reason why this means a lot to me, um, it's no longer in action in Jamaica, is I was told that these children on the back were actually students of the Central Branch All Age School at the time, and that's a school that I attended when I was a child in Jamaica. Um, if that's true, um, emphasize that for me, people. If it's not, then um, correct me as to who those children are. As the two dollar Jamaican, this is five dollars Jamaican. 
definitely no longer active in Jamaica so like I say I like having these ones so yeah um five dollar Jamaican and I could see the one here there's a one dollar Jamaican note so yes this is definitely no longer active in Jamaica one dollar note in Jamaica oh I should be showing the back as well so that's the back that's the front I should have done that with all of them so real quick let me recap so Jamaica's 1000 that's the front Michael Manley former Prime Minister of Jamaica is on the front and that's the back I think that's um, Jamaica House which is the office of any elected Jamaican Prime Minister that is the Jamaican ten dollar note at the front um, William Gordon is on it it's one of Jamaica's national hero and the back uh, some construction going on um, the hundred has Donald Sangster um, Donald Sangster I believe was a very brief Jamaican Prime Minister at one point before his passing and the back has the infamous Jamaica Duns River same for that that's the same note Jamaica 50 has Sam Sharp on it national era of Jamaica and one of Jamaica's infamous beaches and Nettersoul is on this I don't know a lot about um, Noel Nettersoul but um, he's on the 20 and that's the Bank of Jamaica's building in Jamaica, Kingston, Jamaica. That's on the back. And as I was saying, Paul Bogle is on the two. And some students on the back. I've got two of those, I believe. And this is an old um, five. This is Norman Manley. So the guy that's on the thousand, that's his, that's his son. Um, this is his dad Norman Manley is the father of Michael Manley and he's also hailed as a Jamaica hero um, Jamaican old one dollar bill is Sir Alexander Bustamante the founder of the Jamaica Labour Party and Jamaica's seas or beaches on the back okay well, I'm explaining what's on the back well I don't know all about all these notes so I can only tell you about Jamaica because that's where I'm from there's another Jamaican note in here that I highly value but when I get to it I will let you see it oh I've actually got more Jamaican two dollar so and another Jamaican dollar so there you go okay let's start with the most famous currency move on to the next famous currency of all which is the American currency um, I've got a few American so I've got the one dollar which is um, George Washington that's on the one dollar um, note um, okay not much to say about what's on the back even though I believe it's crucial information so I've got um, one two three of those well I've got four I've got five of those so I've got five US dollars one dollar note I've got a, a fiver with Abraham Lincoln and I think that's his memorial that's on the back in Washington DC so I've got a fiver as well and I've got an Andrew Jackson yes I've got a 20 um, that's yes that's Jackson it's written so small so let me get my um, what you call it my magnifying glass to make sure that I'm saying who's on it correctly but I've lived in the States so I know a lot about the notes but yes that's Andrew Jackson and do I have any more American dollars maybe not so I will move on to the next thing that catches my eyes oh the latest 
British tenor. This is Queen Elizabeth. She's on all the money. I don't think there's been anybody else on the British or the UK's money other than the Queen. I'm not 100% sure about that, but y'all can correct me. This is a brand new one. The last time I was in the UK, which was about two, three years ago, um, I got that while I was there. So, UK um, tenor. Um, I've got some more, but I, for the sake of time, let me just go through them as we as as they come to me oh it's another uk tenor so this is the old one oh someone else is on the back so this is the old one and this is the new one so uk tenor um 10 pounds oh how could i forgot I've got a United States of America $2 bill. This is very, very rare. Um, I had one before, lost it, reached out to a friend of mine um, who we have lost touch a couple years and I, we, we got on talking about my currency collection and he said he had two of these, so he sent me this, so I truly appreciate it. This is an infamous note because um, speculation has it that one guy here in the crowd is actually uh, a black person. Um, see if you can spot him, but, oh, well, it's not shown very well through the magnifying glass to you guys, but see if you can spot the black guy in the crowd, you know, on the left hand side, of course. Um, but yeah, but that's not the reason why I um, kept it. I kind of kept it because I kind of collected was really um, determined having one because it's a rare, very rare um, collection. Um, well, they're rare, so there's not a lot of them, but maybe, just maybe there's not a lot of them because it's been speculation that someone in the crowd was black. Who knows? America is a very political country, so there you go. Um, yes, currently I live in Switzerland and even though my wife is against the fact that I live here and I'm collecting the currency of the country that I live in, um, it's been an ongoing battle between me and her. <laughs> so this is a 20 franc note, current note, this is an active note, so yes. And while I'm at it, this is a 50. 50 franc note and for all of you who might be wondering what's the value of a franc it's pretty much the same value as the United States dollar so it's pretty much one for one okay on to some other currency um, this is from the Czech Republic um, I've been to the Czech Republic a few times I have a friend that lives in the Czech Republic, is from the Czech Republic, so she had given me one and I had collected one by myself. So this is Czech money, 100 Czech money. Um, this is what's on the back, yeah. Uh, I think I've got some more, so I'll just stick these to the side here. Um, and this here is Singapore. Believe it or not, my wife and I um, was transiting through Singapore about last year or the year before. And as soon as we got to the airport, my wife actually found the Singapore $10 on the floor. So um, it's a good added addition to the collection, but it has a fun story to it. This is Mexican Peso. We went to Mexico on a vacation in 2017 and we decided to keep some of the money. This is a 50 peso. Um, is this Mexican? Oh, that's Malaysia. So while I'm at it, I'll just show you. This is the Malaysian one. I don't know if it's dollars or, but it's a beautiful currency. So that's the Malaysian. What I'm off to next. This is Brazil. This is a Brazil 2. Um, not sure what they're called in Brazil, but it's a Brazil 2. I'm sticking them to the side because like I'm saying, I'm picking them up in no special order at the moment. This is a British 
fiver five pound note that's the front that's the back i think that's churchill i just like this whole plasticky transparent thing that's going on there i think it's cute and here i can see scotland i went to scotland many many years ago and while we were in scotland i decided to keep a five pound note so yes this is a five pound note in scotland it's been a while since i've been to scotland so i'm not sure if they have upgraded the currency and this is old you know but let me know if you guys know and see big numbers on the here what is this this is indonesia i was in indonesia not so long ago and their money there is ridiculous this is fifty thousand dollars fifty thousand in indonesia i've got a few of these so again i'll put that to the side move this over um this is the central bank of the bahamas i've never been to the bahamas so i can't quite remember how i acquired this I'm not sure if it's still active but if you guys know let me know and while we're in the Caribbean, this is Dominican Republic 20. Again, I don't know if this is old, current, or what. But this is a Dominican Republic 20. Oops. And what else do I have here? Well, uh, everything is in front of me. Again, this is Brazil. Brazil 1. Yep not quite sure if it's value and i'm just gonna pick up random um, okay egypt this is an egypt 20. um I, I can't remember what i started out with but i'm sure i uh, if i'm if i'm guessing right i started out with egyptian money and it was a one i don't know if it's a, a dollar or or what but I'm not even sure if it's current, but I just like the statues in the back. Oh, it's a pound. So Egypt, one pound. So I've got three of those. Yeah. And I've got a 20 Egyptian pounds. Um, here I've got the Bank of Ghana, 20,000. I've got a few of these and it is just as ridiculous. So this is 20,000 and this is, so 20,000, um, some important building on the back. And this is 10,000, a um, few important people I would suppose. Um, and a monument in the back. So this is together 30,000 Ghana cities. I'm not sure if they are active currency or not. And here is Gambia. This is a 50, um, if I'm seeing right, let me see. Dalassis, Dalassis, 50 Dalassis. Yep, some stones or rocks on the back. And, oh, got more Gambia. Got 25 Delassis. Uh, by the colors, another important fancy building on the back. And there's a 10 staring at me. 10, oops, focus. Okay, so this is a tenor, the lasses, and some important buildings on the back. Um, I gotta keep looking in the camera every so often to make sure that what I'm showing you guys focus in. This is Ghana again, 5,000 cities. Hope I'm pronouncing it right. Cities, cities, cities. 5,000 cities in Ghana. 
and um, here I've got yeah, 2,000 cities gone is money. Yeah, 2,000 cities and here we have Eastern Caribbean. I'm not sure where in the Caribbean um, and I am from the Caribbean. I know the Caribbean by the, the countries by their name, but I don't know where it's classified as Eastern Caribbean. So I would believe that this currency here, um, being though it's just Eastern Caribbean, might be um, for multiple countries, with the exception of Jamaica, because I've never seen that in Jamaica before. So there's my Caribbean currency here. And here's another Dominican Republic one, one, uno peso oro. So uh, I guess it's a peso or a peso oro, not sure. That belongs to Dominica as well. And check this out. This here is the Cayman Islands currency. One dollar. This is one Cayman dollar. The queen, man, she spread wide. You know, she's on a lot of uh, money of different countries. So that's the Cayman Islands. Yeah. So I'll put her by the British ones. And there's another US one dollar sneaking up on me. So I guess I've got six of these then. I'm not quite sure how many of what I have. Check this currency out, I like it. You know, Australian, $10. Again, they've got the whole transparent thing here. Um, I think it's for the um, the blind to, to know the money, I, I believe so. Even though currencies are getting extinct, I mean, actual bills are getting extinct at the moment. I mean, most of, most of these currency these days are you know trying to convert virtual money or um, cards this is a 100 1000 um, this is Ghana cities again oh, it's got a little tear there gotta put some tape on that before I lose it and who this is one of my most valued to be honest um, not because I'm from Jamaica um, so it's not really a biased thing. It's just because I'm from Jamaica, but I've never actually spent this money So I guess this was before my time. So I kind of Place a high value on it, you know, so yeah, that's Marcus Garvey by the way, you know I've never actually seen a 50 cent note in paper and under here another scottish pound yeah this is from scotland yep one scottish pound um i'm 100 percent sure that it's the same value as a british pound so yes um here big numbers oh this is turkey how many? Who? This is a million. <laughs> this is a million. So just by having this right here in Turkey makes you a millionaire. Yeah. Not sure how much it's worth, but um, this is a million. So uh, I guess I could call myself a millionaire, you know, in Turkey. Yes. This is another Mexican note, Mexican peso. So yes, I'll put them over here. Yeah, got one Mexican and Malaysian. I'm getting them mixed up now. Malaysian, Mexican is not the same. Philippines, I've got, let me push the money over a bit more. I've got a hundred Philippine I don't know the value of it. Um, it's got a mountain with a peak or a volcano on the back. So, 
Philippine. Okay, what else I've got? This is fancy. Um, ooh, where is this from? Mm. I'm not sure where this is from because it's, it doesn't have like a country on it. Uh, I don't read that language. So, don't know if it's Korean or Chinese, you know, but it's one of those. So, I don't know where that's from. I'm going to put it to the side just in case I have more than one of it. And here we go again Budapest. I almost said I didn't know where that was, but it's right there Budapest. Um, 500. Um, don't know what's that word either. Um, Rupiah, Indonesia again. Yes, uh, like I said, I was in Indonesia and I collected a whole lot of these money while I was there. So this is 100,000. So this is the 50. And this is 100,000. This right here is New Zealand. $10 New Zealand. Yep. Don't know a lot about it, so I can't say too much about it. This right here, I have zero clue as to what this is. Um, I'd have to search online to know what exactly is it. If you guys know, participate. Help me out to recognize what's this hundred. Oh, it's got Mokba on it. Oh, Mokba. I think that's a Russian, Russian word. Yeah. So I'm going to risk it and say I believe this is Russian because I see Mokba on it. Okay, so... Bahamas 10, yes, so I had a Bahamas 1 earlier, and now this is a Bahamas 10, so yeah, there we go again, oh no, this is something brand new, this is Romania, this is a Romanian 5, Cincy, I would call it Cincy. Um, again, important building on the back. Something to do with politics, I would guess. And it's just digging here. This is Bermuda, $2. Again, here she go, Elizabeth. Yeah. Bermuda two dollar. Not sure if that is an active um, currency, but there you go. Again, I've got another ten with that same gentleman on it. I have no clue where this is. Let me try with my magnifying glass. Mm. No foreign language. Not sure. So if you guys know. Who this person is let me know I've got 30 of this country's money and this I believe is this is 200 of something peso oro I'm sure we spoke about that earlier peso oro which is let me see if I can find it. Peso Oro is on the Dominican, but I'm not sure if it's the same country. However, let me know if you guys know, because, you know, we have dollars in many countries, so who knows, you could have Peso Oro in many countries. Um, Bank of Spain. Spain now uses the Euro, so this is a good currency to have, considering that they no longer use their own money. So this is 1,000. So stick that there. This is another Romanian one. 
I just had a Romanian one somewhere. Yep, Romanian five somewhere. So that's six Romanian. Ooh. Is this another Romanian? Yep. This is another Romanian one. Yeah, okay, it's the same guy in the back. And here is Cuba. Cool. Cuba. Republica de Cuba. 10 pesos. So that's pretty much, that's pretty cool, I should say. Oh, small money. Hmm. Where is this money from? Whoa. Now that's interesting. Um, well, I have no clue what this one is from. So you guys can like, if you know where, where, the, where the money is from, all you gotta do, since I'm not numbering them as I show them, is just to show me, just to um, tag the minutes of the video that it appears on the on the timeline and then i'll know which currency you're referring to and then at least i can have some idea of where some of these are from this is the netherland antilles this is a 50. so the netherland antilles oh uh, is that um like curacao maybe This is Bangladesh. Bangladesh um, 10. This is another one that I don't know or do not recognize. If you know who this person is, let me know because I don't understand any of that right there. So that's that this is the bank of guyana um one dollar bill caribbean bill so i put it in the caribbean pile trying to create some kind of order here as i display them um this is bank du liban that's what it says one thousand liban liban huh that Libya? Uh, I don't know. Let me know if you know where this is from. Liban, it says, or Liban. L I B A N. And here I have another Romanian one. Oh, this almost looked playful, like it's not real money. But in respect of the country and the currency, this is 200 something. Magnifying glass. Nope, cannot tell you where that is from. Here's another little tiny one, very small to be money, look. It's very small. Um, I don't know where it's from, it's got a bird on it. Yep, not sure where it's from. Okay, this look Asian-y by the statue. Let's see. Oh, Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka, this is from Sri Lanka. I actually have a friend who's from Sri Lanka. 100 something not so sure what this is oh a guy in a one dollar bill which is much more crispier than the last one i showed see the last one is a bit worn but this one is crispier one dollar bill guyana guyana is located at the end part of South America, but it's seen, it's a country that's felt and seen more as um, Caribbean. This is another 500 Czech 
Republic money. Like I said, she have been to Czech Republic a few times and I've got a friend who is actually Czech. Okay. 100 Ikaton. Don't know what that is. So let me use my magnifying glass. Uh, again, I don't know what this is. Ikaton. And here, 200 um, Budapest. Yes, 200 Budapest. I've got two of these. So, front and back. 200 Budapest. Okay, I got one more from Cuba. Republic of Cuba. I've got another one from Cuba. This one's a little more crispier. Cuba pesos. Okay, bring all these over, all these over. These are the ones that I haven't counted out yet. So, oh, Canada. Got a Canadian dollar again with Queen Elizabeth on it. Canadian dollar. So, Philippines 20. Yes. And I've got another that I don't know what this is. It's, it's a fiver, but I don't know which country it's from. If you recognize it, please let me know. Just say on which minutes of my timeline it appeared on screen. This one is from Malaysia. Uh, these, these things seem universal. These whole transparent thing seem a bit universal. Well, um, not where I'm at at the moment. It's not here. This is 500,000 Turkish. So if I put that on top of my 1 million Turkish, then that's 1.5 million. So there you go. I'm a millionaire plus some in Turkey. This Hong Kong dollar, this is a 20, 20 Hong Kong dollars. This, this is pretty. Uh, I need my magnifying glass for this one. This is a 50, but let's see if there's any English written on it. Central Bank of Sri Lanka, yep. This is from Sri Lanka as well. There you go. Got all the Sri Lankan and Bangladesh money, but I don't have any Cuban, uh, any, um, this is Cuba. <laughs> I don't have any Indian money, come to think of it. Cuba, Fiverr from Cuba. Put it over there by the Caribbean. Not sure if I did that with the last one, but when I get off, camera with you guys I'm definitely going to sort these money better um, this is a 10 from Malaysia Malaysian 10 not bad I like it very crispy too this is the Isle of Man five pound so this I believe is the same value as a British pound and a Scottish pound Queen Elizabeth again on the front and some castle at the back this is a Netherland Antilles 100 not sure how much it values I think this is like money in Curacao I'm not sure if I'm wrong correct me please and 100 i'm gonna gamble and says sri lanka yeah sri lanka i recognize it right there without actually look to, looking through the magnifying glass and this as we come down to the nitty gritty is another sri lankan 1000 so this was a sri lankan 100 that's the back and this is a Sri Lankan 1000. Oh, oh. The United States of America has something that looks like that. So, mm, 
that's not very original Sri Lanka, but there you go. Anyway, this is Bank of. Well, I won't even try to pronounce that. How do you pronounce a Q after SH? <laughs> Squish press. Let me not try that. Tell me where is this from? Which country is spelled SH with a Q? Quiperize, quiperize, shrist quiperize. Okay. If you recognize this 1000, let me know. Here we have another Cuban, Cuban 3. So I'll definitely put it over here with the Caribbean. So front, back, farming as usual, big thing in Cuba. Here is a 20. Um, I'm not sure where this is from. If it is in Sri Lanka, is it uh, Malaysia, um, Bangladesh? Let me know. 20. And this one right here is from Indonesia. It's 20,000 rupiah in Indonesia. And this right here is 10,000 rupiah from Indonesia. This is the back. This is the front. Let me go back for the 20. 20 front. 20 back. Wow, how could I deprive you of seeing that? It's pretty. Here we have the Bahamas $1 bill. Central Bank of the Bahamas. And this is the back of it. Stick that to my Caribbean pile. And I've got another 5,000 Indonesia rupiah. And here we have Mexican 20 peso from Mexico. Yeah, interesting. Again, it's got a whole transparent thing going on there. Not bad. Oh, Mauritius. Bank of Mauritius. That also got a transparency thing going on there. So this is 25 Mauritius rupees. Got another Brazil. That's 10. That's the front. That's the back. Um, Malaysia. I could tell with the guy in the hat situation. And we've seen that similar before. This is a Malaysian one. New Zealand. I got a New Zealand $1 bill with the Queen, of course. And that's the back of it. New Zealand. I believe this is Sri Lanka again. 500 Sri Lankan. And this is, oh, which way should it be? I guess this way. Um, not so sure about this one. Is it Sri Lankan? Not so sure. Bangladesh. Oh, no disrespect, Bangladesh. I did not know, but this is from Bangladesh. This is 100 Bangladesh. Oh, I've got a pound sterling. Is this Scotland? looks more Scottish than it does for British. So I'm gonna guess and say this is from Scotland or maybe it's from England, I don't know. So, but it's the same value, but let me know specifically where is this is from, Scotland or England. And I've got here more Romanian ones. Got two of those. Romania, Romania, Romania. Five, came across this before. I'm not sure if I identify it, but let me know if you know where this is from. And Trinidad and Tobago, one dollar. Yes. So, kind of, yeah, open it up there. 
one dog from Trinidad and Tobago. It's got tape on it, so I could use a new one of those, you know. I'll eventually get like a nice pocket album type thing to keep my money. This is one dollar currency Eastern Caribbean again. Um, not sure which countries of the Caribbean it's using. If you guys know, let me know. Stick it in my Caribbean pile. This is Indonesia 1000 rupiah. That's the back. That's the front. This right here, my godfather had given me one. It's from Thailand. And um, a friend from Thailand had given me the other. So um, it's a hundred Thailand money. Don't know what it's called. Um, New Zealand, I've got uh, a five from New Zealand. I like it, looks real good. New Zealand, put it over here. This is Franks. Oh, Belgium. So it's Belgi. So this is 50 francs in Belgium. Not sure if it's value. And this one. I, I don't know for sure where this one is from. So let me know. Um, this guy looks very serious. Okay, I'm down to four more. Indonesia, 2,000 rupiah. Yep. And, of course, another Romanian one. I have a lot of Romanian. And Gambia, five. And which is my last currency in this pile? <laughs> uh, perfect ending. Euro, five euros. That's the front, that's the back. Yeah, let me know what you guys think of this video. Let me know what you think of those currencies. Let me know which of the currencies are your favorite. And let me know if you are also a currency collector. Who knows, we could do some trading because as you could see, I also had multiple of some currency. And other than that, if you guys have currency, foreign currency that you have no real purpose for, or it's not a keepsake to you and you feel like gifting it, I'm more than happy to take it from you. You guys so let me know if you've got any currency that I could add to my collection and build it even bigger because at the moment I've got a hundred and thirty individual notes that's in there and there are some currencies that I actually want to get my hands on I would like to get some like I was saying in the video I have a lot of Asian currency but I don't have any currency from India so it'd be good to have a, an Indian currency in there but um, of all the countries around the world, you know, I would love to have currencies from them. I know that some countries now use um, a single currency for um, a region, for example, the Euro, and maybe that's been adapted other places. I'm not sure. But anyway, let me know what you think of this video. As you know, on my channel, always I appreciate thumbs up and even thumbs down. I appreciate agreement and disagreement because at the end of the day, each one teach one. Until next time, people. Peace.